Hey everybody, thanks for watching A Guy Doing Stuff. I'm Adam, and today I'm going to be building the hole in my cedar strip canoe. At this point, I've set up my molds, bent and shaped my stems, and milled all my strips. Now I'm ready to start planking the hole. It's super nice having full length cedar strips, but it's also hard to find 16 foot long boards. Most of my strips are a couple feet shorter than the length of the canoe, so I'm going to have to butt strips together on each layer to make the full length of the canoe. I didn't want one long strip to start the initial arc of how my strips are going to be mounted, so I glued this walnut and ash up to make single full length strips. I'm going to start mounting my strips with this. The shear line is the rim of the canoe and it has a pretty dramatic arc. The water line is where the boat sits in the water and it's just straight. The arc of my strips won't be as dramatic as the shear line, but it also won't just be straight across. So it's just somewhere in between the two. I eyeball how I want my arc to look on this first strip and mark where to set it on the molds. Then I cut these things out and use them to clamp the first strip to the molds exactly where I want it with the cove side up. I strip both sides at the same time and once I feel good about the placement of my strips, I glue the ends to the inner stems. Now I'm going to work upwards till I close the gap. I fill this little syringe with wood glue and squirt some into the cove. Then I put the next strip on and clamp it down by screwing these little scraps into the mold. In between the molds, I tape another scrap on to cinch my strips tightly together. I use these scraps because they fit neatly into the coves without damaging the fragile edges. Okay, so I skipped explaining how I mounted the decorative strip because it was just too complicated and frustrating. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It was just a ridiculous amount of extra work. From here, it's just slow going mounting the strips. Again, this is really easy if you have full length strips, but I don't. So what I do is cut my strips at a 45 degree angle like this, then butt them up to each other when I glue them on. You can see here, I shaped a bevel on the inner stem so my strips can be glued onto it at the angle that they come off the molds. When I get enough strips on that my hole starts to feel solid, I work down towards the shear line. Because the shear line has a more dramatic arc, I put more strips on the ends than the middle, and after I apply the fiberglass, I'll cut a clean shear line. So that's how I mount my strips for a cedar strip canoe. In my next video, I'm going to show how I work the two sides towards each other and close the hole. There are so many different ways to do every step I'm doing here. So if you're building your own canoe, do your research and experiment a little until you find something that works for you. Thanks for watching A Guy Doing Stuff. Don't forget to hit subscribe.